Morning guys, uh, we are back in our space. Uh, America was great, but it's time to be back. When me and Marek were in the US, these two, him and uh, Boogie, they actually cleaned the whole space, which is, um, is good to see and definitely a surprise. And uh, the plan for today is to show you guys some stuff that I brought from the US and uh, just spend a nice time in the garage. So let's go. Okay, so when we were in the States, the boys actually took uh, Bozo's winter beater and they painted it. And it is looking quite nice, I'd say. The front's gonna be lower, okay? Front needs to go lower. The front's gonna be lower, but... Not bad, not bad. For a, for a winter beater, cheap, cheap BMW Gruss, it's not bad. E30, it's broken, we don't know what's wrong with it. We need to have a space in the garage and put it on the lift and see uh, what was the issue last time when we lost all the coolant. And then now the main concern for upcoming weeks are these two. Sister Miatas, oh yeah, Bozo's one got painted as well. So they have the same color, which is looking sick already. They just need a bit of love, love <laughs> yeah. So Bozo, what's wrong with your car? What do you need to do still before? Okay, because the first drift event is seduced and it is in three weeks. Maybe there's gonna be a little training before that, but we mainly want to be ready for seduced. So what's wrong with your car? What do you need to it's, be fixed? It's running on three cylinders. I don't know why. And it has four. In, it has four <laughs> and it's running on three. And I need to do sick interior. And uh, I need to put rear window in because right now there is no rear window because we have to took it off for uh, painting. Mm. We are probably gonna paint the uh, roll bar. About my car, I'm waiting for the new wheels because these are going out. Probably you're gonna see it in this video because uh, the wheels should be here on Friday, which is in four days. So new wheels, I'm gonna shorten the exhaust a bit because we realized that if we, me and Bozo, if we're gonna tan them, then with these long exhausts, you cannot really do a close transition. So I'm gonna shorten the pipes. And then I need to sort out the hood somehow because it is not attached here. And engine wise, last time uh, we took out, wait, let me actually show you. Strong boy. Uh, no. So as you can see, engine. The issues I had with the engine, I don't know what exactly was wrong, but it wasn't running good. It wasn't sound healthy. And also we had issues with the high idle uh, rev. So we took out, So at the moment, no intake manifold and the whole intake uh, bits. We took everything for cleaning and checking. And then in a couple days, probably still in this video, uh, Darek is gonna come here. He's gonna pick up the parts and then we're gonna install them back in the car, back in the engine, and then we're gonna see if that helped. Yep. Also the engine is looking pretty much disgusting. <laughs> and one more thing inside the car. Let me actually grab it. A bit of a change. What's that? <laughs> a bit of a change inside with this kind of steering wheel. Uh, I really love my steering wheel, but just a little change because why not? I'm still gonna keep the old one and I see what I like more. And yeah, that's it. Let's install it. The wheel is looking pretty nice inside the car. I like the bright accent. So, today is the day we're finally gonna find out what happened to this beast. Um, 
at the moment. We don't fully know what uh, happened to it. Uh, we couldn't really check everything at the event. Sam was driving it and it started uh, steaming really a lot uh, because all the fluid from the coolant came out and it was leaking out of everywhere and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So we just took the car back on Lavetka. So let's check what happened to it and hopefully fix it very fast. Or maybe the engine blew up, I don't know. But first thing first, we definitely need to wash it. It's a bit dirty. So radiator is broken, uh, clearly leaking. And to get a new one, replace it, and that should be it. And mount it a bit with a bit harder zip ties. Yeah, it was mounted on just two zip ties, and I think during the drift it had to get loose and hit the it wasn't one of the on pulleys. The it was only mounted right here on the top with two zip ties. So it was nice here, but the bottom was probably flapping a bit. Yeah. So then it, it just hit the it just hit the pulley. Engine. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. Well, Today is the day I was waiting for for a long time. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. New it. Now to blur, blur this blur and put R34 sideways. <laughs> yeah, like. Okay, so since some time we have uh, this partnership with Rims Carnated, and the biggest point of the sponsorship was that they are gonna sort me out with the wheels for the Miata. And these are not any wheels that you could buy in a shop or whatever. These are specifically made for my car. I'm gonna speak about them a bit more after we open the package and see how it look. looks. Oops, excuse me. Wait, wait, what the, what is wrong with you guys? He's using this to open the box. <laughs> Careful for the wheels, fam. <laughs> Now do this. <laughs> it's upside down. Okay. How, How will it can be upside down? <laughs> As you okay, can see. A bit of a big lip. Dobra, to ja ci to odwrócę, a ty się odwróci. Zobaczymy twoją reakcję. Zobacz, odsuń się, odwróć się. Nie możesz patrzeć, nie widzisz nic. No odwróć się, nie patrzysz. Yes? Okay, you ready? Yeah? You ready? Let's go. Look at it. What a barrel. <laughs> As you can see, very aggressive spec. 50 uh, max. <laughs> <laughs> Miles per gallon, 50 max. <laughs> Miles per gallon. Can I see the thing? Yeah. Dobrze, co to jest? Solniczka. You put salt here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ta. No to się jakoś wyciska. Nie możesz kręcić kółek. No nie da się. Nie możesz. So that's the wheel, yeah? Put the tire on top. That's the tire. So like... It's a bit 
of a stretch. We'll see. Let me show you how it looks. So this one obviously needs a spacer because so far I think that the car won't be able to turn fully because the wheel, go so the offset is zero, so there's a big majority of wheel going inside of the car. So I think on the full lock is gonna touch the arm. I th I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah. I'm just, this is disgusting. And the back, as you can see, needs, the back needs a lowering and probably still a bit of uh, spacer. Just respectful, man. I can fit, uh, I can, Fit the I cannot put it in the video. Okay, I can fit. It's very disrespectful. I what can you fit? What I can fit? I can fit. I can fit some <laughs> because it doesn't exist. I cannot put that in the video. They can fit some things here, yeah. So basically, <laughs> so we need the spacer to the back and spacer you to the can front. Fit anything more than a piece of paper, too much. Yeah, from the side though looks. Super, super nice. Okay, so we have six days till event and Sam's car looks like this. So Sam's car looks like this and Bosa's car running on three cylinders. And Beamer is still broken. Six days. Yeah, but we have a Bossman here who actually... <laughs> so the only person the only person that knows what he's doing, as you can see, he's doing a very professional job. Do you know even what is he doing now? I don't know. He's he putting some schmarka on... Sh <laughs> the good thing is that uh, Darek found uh, intake leak on my uh, intake manifold, so this is why I had uh, issues with the idling very high. So now our job is to put the engine together and then see if it's working properly. Okay, so I put the bigger spacer here and I lower the suspension, the coilover, all the way down. So technically now the fitment should be much better. Let's find out. Better than before, but still not perfect. Um, I think the wheel needs to be slightly more out still because the coilover is as low as possible. I think there's too much of a gap between the tire and, uh, and the fender. So I think I need to buy a bigger spacer. Okay, now here obviously is the same situation. The wheel needs to poke out a bit more. So I'm gonna add a bit of a spacer. Maybe a bit too much. Okay, it's already dark. It's been a hell of a long day with a lot of work. Um, we finished the engine with Darek. He did an amazing job and engine seems to be working fine, which we will check in six days when it's another drift event for us. And then I spent the whole day trying to fit the wheels onto the car. The back wheels need a bit of a thicker spacers and the front wheels need a bit of different tire. But uh, man, the car looks just smart. Also, Twingo was sold just now. Yeah. No more Twingo. Press F for Twingo. Yes. F in the chat for Twingo. So the uh, wheel is touching the fender when I turn, so I need to change the tire. And the back one, the back one looks like this. So if you look from the back, there is still a room for improvement, so we're gonna have a bigger spacer, so the lip of the wheel is gonna be closer to the defender. Uh, overall, let us know if uh, 
You're happy to see the garage videos back in action because we've been away for a month or so with the garage vids. And let us know what you think about the new Miata look. We're still waiting to make this one a bit better because it's shit. What? But the fitment is nice though. Fitment that is one. nice, yeah. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And um, once again, rims grenaded. Guys, you smashed it, you smashed it fully. Um, the wheels are looking sick. I'm in love in the shape, in the style of it. Basically, this is the perfect wheel I could have in this car. So in case any of you watching need fully custom wheels, hardware for your wheels, barrels, lips, just contact the guys at Rims Granated. They're gonna sort you out uh, the best they can. They are from UK, they ship all over the world. So yeah, once again, thank you very much, guys. And um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, there's many, many more coming, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.